Hey designers, in this video, we'll learn how to animate text around a picture or video. You can also place videos around an image or another video for a dynamic effect. Start by creating a new composition. I'm setting mine to 1920 by 1080. Okay, now, import your video or picture, whichever you prefer. I'm using a video for this tutorial, so I'll drag and drop it onto the timeline. Let's play the video to check it out. The first step is to isolate the main subject from the video using the Roto Brush tool. Select the video layer, go up to the toolbar, and choose the Roto Brush tool. Double click on the video to open the layer panel. Then paint over the main subject to create a selection. Adjust it until it's just right. Once you're happy with the selection, press the spacebar to let After Effects process the entire video and refine the selection throughout. Once that's done, go back to the main composition, and you'll see that the subject is now isolated. Now, we need to duplicate the video layer. Select it and press Ctrl plus D to create a copy. On the lower layer, we'll remove the Rotobrush effect to keep the background intact. Go to the Effects panel and delete the Rotobrush effect. Now, we have one layer with the full video and another with just the isolated subject. Next, let's create a new composition. This time, increase the width and decrease the height to around 400 or 500 pixels. Press OK. This will be our text or image container. Let's add our text. Type in your text and adjust its placement. Tweak the paragraph and vertical spacing to ensure a balanced layout. Adjust the size so the text fills the composition properly. Align the text both vertically and horizontally within the composition. Finally, change the text color to white. Once that's done, go back to Composition 1. Now, from the Project panel, drag and drop Composition 2 onto the timeline. Next, go to Effects and Presets and search for CC Cylinder. Apply the CC Cylinder effect to Composition 2. Here, you can adjust the radius to make it larger or smaller and tweak various settings. Expand the rotation properties to modify the X or Y rotation. You'll notice that when you change the X rotation, part of the text becomes hidden in a weird way. To fix this, enable the Continuously Rasterize option for the layer. Once you turn it on, you'll see that no matter how much you adjust the X or Y rotation, the text remains fully visible. Now, adjust the X rotation and Z rotation to get the desired look. Modify the radius to make the text appear bigger or smaller, depending on your preference. Once you're happy with the setup, we'll move on to animation. To make the text rotate around the image, we'll animate the Y rotation using an expression. Hold Alt and click the stopwatch next to Y rotation. In the expression field, type time asterisk 25. Click anywhere on the composition and play the animation. You'll see the text rotating clockwise. If you want it to rotate counterclockwise, just remove the minus sign and use time times 25. Or adjust the value, 30, 50, etc., to control the speed. 
Additionally, you can tweak the light intensity and explore the shading options to enhance the look. These settings can be adjusted anytime to achieve the desired effect. Once everything is set up, select Composition 2 in the timeline. Go to Effects and Presets and search for Drop Shadow. Apply the Drop Shadow effect to Composition 2, then increase the softness to achieve a smooth shadow effect. Select Composition 2 again and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D on your keyboard. Move one of the layers below the adjustment layer where the main subject is isolated. Next, select the top Composition 2 layer Go to the CC Cylinder Effect Settings and change Render from Full to Outside. This will make half of the text move behind the main subject, creating a realistic depth effect. If the drop shadow looks too strong or too weak, adjust it accordingly for a balanced look. Now, preview the animation. You'll see how beautifully the text revolves around the main subject. You can also change the color of the text, adjust lighting and shadows, or tweak any settings to match your style. Now that the text is animated around the subject, it can be replaced with pictures or even videos. Go back to Composition 2 and open the Project Panel. Import the images or videos that you want to revolve around the subject and drag and drop them onto the timeline. Since the text is no longer needed, either delete it or turn off its visibility for now. Select all the image layers and press S to bring up the scale properties. Scale them down to fit the composition properly. Move one image all the way to the left and another one all the way to the right. Select all images and choose the Distribute Horizontally option to space them evenly. If the images still seem too large, press S again and scale them down a bit more. Align the leftmost and rightmost images once again, then distribute them horizontally to ensure even spacing. Once this is done, collapse all properties and go back to Composition 1. Now, the text has been replaced with images. Since Composition 2 was originally duplicated, any changes made to one version must also be applied to the duplicate. To avoid extra work, delete one of the duplicates and work only on the remaining one. Adjust the radius and other settings until it looks right. Once everything is finalized, duplicate the layer again and move it below the isolated subject, just like before. Once the images are arranged, Press S for Scale, unlink the Scale properties, increase the Scale X to spread the images properly and ensure they are visible together. Adjust the Scale Y as needed to control the height of the images. Modify the radius to refine the circular movement and preview the animation to check the results. Once it looks good, select this composition and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Move the duplicated layer below the adjustment layer. Select the top composition and change the render setting from full to outside in the CC cylinder effect. Preview the animation to see how it looks and make any necessary adjustments. Expand the other properties and change the blending mode of the composition below from normal to something different. Try overlay, but if it appears too light, switch it to multiply for a better effect. Now, go back to Composition 2 to add another element. Select the Pen tool and draw a straight line. Make sure the line has no fill and only a stroke. Increase the stroke width as needed and adjust its position for balance. Duplicate the shape layer by pressing Ctrl plus D, move the duplicate below the images, 
and adjust its placement accordingly. Go back to Composition 1 and you'll see how the added line enhances the cinematic feel of the animation. These simple adjustments elevate the overall look of the video, making it more dynamic and professional. If this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to Ace Designs for more creative content and tutorials.